This lighting is quite good, mine's. It's dark in terms of without these on, yeah. but the orange and blue is making it look quite nice. Yeah, but, that's warm though, isn't it? Yeah, but I can, take, I can play with filters, it's fine. Um, watch out, don't look right at them. Don't look That's better, that's more them. professional though, I think. Oh, I'm all about the profesh, pal. <laughs> <laughs> he says, climbing in. <laughs> what the bloody hell. Oh, elegant me. <sighs> I've got to stop saying cheeky. Go on in, press record. Um, so, this is the awkward bit, I'll just say it. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, uh, <laughs> something about subscribing to your channel, I believe, mate. Right? Or subscribing bell, bell. Okay. <laughs> Please don't put that bit in. <laughs> so guys, before we go anywhere, I can see you. You look at, look at the camera, you know, like, you're looking, you're looking awkward, you're looking down. Look, yeah, it's really, really awkward. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, what a, treat. what a treat indeed. So guys, before we go any further, I'm gonna ask you a favor. Pop on over to my channel and hit the subscribe button. Pop on over to Kyle's as well. Don't hit subscribe. It's down there and it'll be up there. Um, hit subscribe, hit like on this video, and um, I think you should just hit notifications as well whilst you're there. Make it a trilogy. Get all three boxes. <laughs> Yeah, the trilogy of buttons. Hit the three buttons, check all the boxes. You will have me sliding into your DMs. Do into yourself your a favor. Inbox. Yeah, it is a favor. Because what is it? What is this? A treat. It is a treat. It is a treat. I agree. That's just for the. That's just for the um, that's kind of good. That alright? That worked? Yeah, that worked? Okay, it worked. Okay, fam. Oh my god, that's always. I always find those bits really awkward. <laughs> they're almost like scripted. So yeah. you can't give me a script to say, can't do it. Mm. Oh, this is just purely off the tongue. It is, it is. Running I am all it. about off the cuff. Sliding into your DMs uh, is a personal highlight for me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. I hate myself. Oh, I know. You can, look how easy you can, look. Uh, how did you make that look so easy? Uh, to be fair, I got a lot more room. Did you see, I kind of did <laughs> head first. I crawled in. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, I will. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the blooper. Oh, yeah. First of all, this is my friend Kyle. We're here today and we're going to be talking about his music because he's a musician uh, at the moment he has got an EP on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever... What's the word? Whatever, whatever, whatever platform you platform, use. Platform, whatever platform you use, the he is there. He is a platform tart. <laughs> and um, the EP is an album taster. It's available on all those platforms right now, so you should go listen. I will link it. Um, above and below. Everything will be above and below, okay? Just so we know. Um, and it's on there as well as a single. Yes. We're here to talk about your taster my, my for your life. album. Yeah. And we've talked about your life a lot already. Yeah, so this is not going to that again. <laughs> <laughs> we digress. So let's talk about the album Taster five track EP that's on Spotify right now. Yes. Why those five tracks? To be honest with you, like, I don't really, I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. No, no. It was instinct. It was just um, I wanted to give a little, little taste of what was to come on the album and how it was roughly going to sound. Um, those tracks are kind, kind of similar, but they're quite diverse as well. Like forty five miles. Similar. Life. Similar. And diverse. And diverse. Is she? Yeah. Uh, that probably doesn't make any sense to do this. It does make sense because the album has got a um, an electronic feel yeah. that goes throughout it, but there's also like pockets of rock. Mm -hmm. there's, I was raised there, on there, that. There's so. hip hop. There's a hip hop kind of sound. Yeah. There's um, you do this thing with your vocals, which I know you. you I know that you know that you do. Okay. But it's a thing do I? where well, yeah, because you're singing, but it's kind of there's an element of like speak singing. I'm not gonna say rap because it's, yeah, it's not rap. Yeah, it's not rap. But there is an element of like the spoken word as song. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's like fast paced yes. lyrics. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which you which you kind of have to say quickly it's rather not, than yeah, sing it's not, quickly. It's not Ed Sheeran where but he it's talks melodic. And, yeah, that's the word you're looking for. There we go. That's the hammer. <laughs> yeah. So what are the five tracks? Track one, LA Bound. Yeah. I open with that one simply yeah. because it's probably one of my favourites off okay. the album. It says a lot of where I want to go in my life. It does. I think people can relate to it in a way that it's it's quite motivational in a way. Like I'm speaking a lot about like, you know, you get so much doubt in your life. If you've got a goal, you've got an ambition, but people constantly 
Yeah. Try to smash it down. Yeah, telling you not to do it, you won't have any contact. Yeah, and it's just that kind of um, kind of song to try and just like uplift you and you know crap on. It's a good start. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not the first track on the album. It's not it? the first track on the album. But on the EP, it's the first track. Yes. Okay. Second track. Second track, I believe, is messing with my mind. That this is very single. Yeah. I feel like it, that, that could be a single. Mesh one my death. the one you heard me walking up the stairs singing earlier. He was, he was, he was loving it. I was, I was. I won't do it for you now. <laughs> well, go on. In the presence of the singer, <laughs> I don't think so. On film, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, um, but that's probably going to be a music video. I've got an idea. I, uh, I, I agree. For a music video for it, where yeah. the, uh, the, the essence of the song. Mm. is really that you're with somebody who is quite high profile in a way and um, the more you do to try and like impress them and try and keep up with them the further away you get kind of thing and it's like chasing someone that you never catch I got you that's kind of where I wrote it for a uni assignment oh. and it was literally just scratch lyrics at the time but they just stuck what a scratch lyrics scratch thing. lyrics so that's just a term that's yeah. um, a term yeah the, it's a fact for you. I know you're a big fan of facts. facts. <laughs> I do love a fact. Um, scratch lyrics is literally just you've got a melody in your head, but you haven't thought of the words yet. So okay. you just write any old. Oh, shit I see. Just to, just to fit with the melody. Yeah. I got you. By the time I was just feeling in one of these moods and yeah, I just wrote it down. Oh, okay, cool. That's the good. chorus came and it's I just a thought very I could evolve, yeah, chorus. I could evolve this into something mm. that people can relate to and listen yeah. to and be thinking, oh, I've had that. I personally thought that was a clever track to put on the EP. Yeah. I did. Thank you. What's track three? Track three is 45 My Love. Everybody's favourite. Everybody loves a bit of cheeky guitar, isn't it? Yeah. Well, again, this is, this is where the, the, oh, how can I put it? The flavour of the EP changes. Yes. The first two, <clears throat> more kind of electronic, but also kind of, I don't know, poppy, hip hoppy. Yeah. This one does become a bit more, has a rockier edge. Yeah, definitely. I think that's, it's kind of what the album does. It starts yes. with four, it starts with three kind of tracks that are very hip hop y, electronic y. Yeah. Uh, you've got to stop saying E. E. It's a Welsh thing. <laughs> I think it's a Welsh thing. Yeah, and then New Year's Day, which is a slower one. Oh, I wanted to talk about that, but it's not on the EP, so yeah, we can't we really talk, talk about, about it. it anyway, you know. I really like it. Yeah, it's kind it's of one of my favourites. It's the long one. It's the it's, it a, it's a storytelling. It is a storytelling. Um, one of my favourite things about it, if I may be so bold as oh. to say, is that at the end of the song, it it cuts away to just you and the guitar. Yeah, it's a guitar, like a little cheeky guitar solo. It, well, it is. Yeah, it's just you and the yeah, and it's just like it's like a it. it's an outro solo, and there's kind of elements in there that are building up to forty five. My love. So it's like right. fades in, so it's like, it's the same key, I changed chords halfway through this. It, it's basically just a bit of improv, I didn't write that at all, I no. just sort of just did it. That's cool. Now i got to learn it again, yeah. when I do a live. Oh, that's cool though. And, um... We digressed already, yeah, we've been easy, but yeah, you know. Yeah. It goes it into 45 It does, it does. Love, which is on the EP. It is, it is, and I think that's what is quite interesting, because that, that was, that song is different on the album, I'm sorry, yeah. but, but it's the same S as we're talking about, you've got this kind of more... It's just different sound. It's yeah. a different sound. It is still you. It doesn't sound. Yeah. It is not so different. That it doesn't sound like it goes exactly. together. And I just think that is um, like merging instruments that I yeah. used in previous yeah. songs. And well, this is what surprised me why you, when you say you didn't put much thought into what was in the EP because it does feel like that. Yeah, so it's what, find my love. And it was, it was. So what's track four then? <laughs> track four. God, what is track four? This is embarrassing. Should we just make it up? No, no. <laughs> Go on. Checks forms. Going on to Spotify, oh, this is really bad. I will link the EP as well, above and below. It's above your head, and it's below is it? us. It will be, yeah, it'll just pop down. Um, <laughs> it's very clever. Uh, Warm you. Yeah. Soz. I'm in the mood for Chinese now, after you said Oh, uh, I know. Chinese. I know. Oh, what time I love is your is number one track? Oh, what a treat. That's interesting. That is interesting. I didn't know that was there. Um... Track four, Missing You a Little oh, Today. How is it? Ah, oh, this is the track. Right, Missing You, go on in. A little brief, what, how would you, how would you sell Missing You a Little Today? Oh, mate, it's a, it's one of the slower ones. It is. This is a cheeky little ballad, I've got to yeah. stop saying cheeky. It is a cheeky little ballad, though. It is a ballad. <coughs> it is cheeky. Ish. Yeah, it's, it's cheeky. ish. It's ballad-ish. Yeah, there is 
instruments and it goes into like a big finish and then it dies down again. Yeah. Long story short, it's about someone who's very close to me mm -hmm. and you know, yeah. we all go through loss in we our do. lives. We and, absolutely um, do. I think it's important to shine a light on it. It's very easy yeah. to identify with yeah. as a track. Yeah. Uh, certainly for me as well. Is this the one where at the end of the track it just becomes you and the acoustic guitar? Yes, by the lake. I liked that. Yeah. It had it's different. A, it had a kind of um, uh, again, kind of as I like the behind the scenes type thing. Yeah, it yeah. was almost like you regressed to your demo of the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I liked because I like hearing where the track <clears> came <throat> from versus how you produced it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. And there was the seagulls, or there were yeah, birds. Yeah, the seagulls came there in were at birds. the correct time. Yeah, I know. Planned. They came in a second earlier. Honestly. Yeah, shot them. <laughs> <laughs> and then track five is daydreaming. Daydream. This is a. This was the last song. I just thought, how am I gonna finish the P, but still put a nice little taster from the album in? I was thinking, how could like there's a, there's so many songs. On the album, like that, I prefer. Right. But then it, it could be different. Yeah. Me. But I thought I can't finish with a slow song. Uh, there's a lot of upbeat songs on the album. Yeah. But I thought Daydream is one of those calm songs. It doesn't go too mental in a way. It's no. Not, there's not a huge chorus. It's not a huge finish. It's just one of them nice finishy songs. It is. Mean? No, it's nice. It, and it, I it, think it's... with it as well, it's not a completely like finishing song if that makes sense. It kind of like leaves a bit of mystery where It does. It does do like, that. Oh, I want to hear more of that. You know it does stuff. because there is there is a feeling at the end where you go, oh it's finished. Yeah. And you were a bit like okay yeah. that was that that does I don't know how, how, it, so, don't know how like, it does that that track but it does do I that. I don't know either but I thought that I was thinking you know what's yeah. on the album then? Yeah. You know what I mean? I do. So I think it's about track 13 on the album. It's further, yeah, it's high. And then you got 14, which is the acoustic new one, and then the big finisher. Yeah. So when the album comes out. It's quite a diverse album. There's yeah. a lot of, um, well, this is all cheeky spoilers now. Um, this, it's if you quite... do want an album, you know, the mess you can message my channel, oh, which is yeah. down there. And all I might there. consider it, but. My the way experience. to get a hold of a full album is attending events and I'm hopefully going to be doing quite a fair few festivals okay. to promote this bloody thing. I'll put your Spotify and your Instagram and everything down below so if anybody wants to yeah. go and see when those events are you'll be able to see it probably on Instagram. Yeah. You are but, Mr. Instagram. Yeah. Also if you like a cheeky blooper, he likes a cheeky blooper. <laughs> They're on his Instagram stories, you should have a look. <laughs> also you would normally swear. You haven't really sworn in this. No, I know, I've been quite professional. We've been filming uh, for a couple of hours now, and um, you didn't mean to swear in the other one. No. I thought, <laughs> well, you were like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I genuinely thought you would. I thought there'd be something. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been good today. You have been yeah, good. I only even said the C word once, and I'm not going to. Yet. <laughs> Cookie. No. Cake. Not, you know the one. I, I just said it. You just said it, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be better out my, my channel. I don't think my audience is quite ready for um, a see you next Tuesday. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think they're ready for that. Oh, my nephew watches this. So, uh, EP's out. Yes. Loving the five track EP. Um, you've got a single on there as well from last year. Single, feeling it. Yeah, that's cool too. Um, and before we go any further, do you have an idea of when you're gonna put the album out? My plan this year is just take small steps. Oh yeah, I like this. Like, I've had, uh, I've told you earlier, mm. I've had an email and feeling it's been playlisted. Oh, this is fab, this is. In, it's been playlisted to be played. Yeah. In the high street shops. So you're How talking, amazing is that though? You're talking Top Man, you're talking River Island. <laughs> Are we talking Animal? We're talking Animal, we might be talking Animal. This yeah. is actually really, really cool. Uh, there's a, quite a lot of, quite a fair few shops. That's really, and really we're cool. talking, I think, you mentioned British Airways as well, so. Oh, okay. Or in airports. In airports. So, um. That's hell of a set, Paul. Congratulations, it's, it's that's actually brilliant. Thank you. Well, that is really, really good. It's not bad, is it? I was, I was reading it. I got about half an hour sleep. Pete, like. I was on my way up to Birmingham to meet my mate. my good friend from primary, who is still my best mate to Aww. this day. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Shout out Al. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was reading it on the bus. I was just thinking I'd have a bath. I was like, oh, that's pretty good, yeah. And I put my phone away and I looked at the windows in Birmingham and I seen River Island or oh, there's a shop. One of the shops. I was just sort of like, 
Oh my god. It's gonna be in there. But they're gonna be it like shazamming it. And like, like yeah, who is yeah. this? And that takes that's fantastic. What what a great like exposure. <clears throat> it's a good way to reach a further audience. That's brilliant. It? That is brilliant. And get more plays because I, I think a lot of unless you perform live on a regular basis, yeah. it is difficult. Oh, of course. And as you were saying in a video that's going to be another video and a podcast because it's really, really long, um, how there's not very many avenues in our area of yeah. where people can go to perform live like that to get exposure. Exactly. It doesn't really exist down here. Exactly. That's Sad times. I do want to ask as well. Um, I had a little drink because I was um, thirsty. Um, it's actually vodka in here. Yeah, we just get sloshed today, Mike. <laughs> that would be a really funny video. Let's do that next time. Um, I'll bring some beers. Excellent. So you've got... So, album, not yet, not yet, but all these cheeky teasers, um, mm. and then you've got um, something which I'm loving, it's the mixtape. Mix Just tell these guys what the mixtape is. The album is my time at uni, so like three years of uni, learning how to do it, my experiences before uni, even the songs I wrote in college on there, so there's a Ooh. lot going on on the album that just had to get out there, because I'm sick of them lying on my computer, because they, they won't make sense. I released them another two years. I understand. Then. So, um, plus, there's a body of work all together, it yeah. makes sense. The mixtape, uh, I'm working on it. It's called, I'm, I'm thinking of calling it Accelerate, or the Accelerate series, simply mm -hmm. because I write all these songs and nobody hears them. So, like, I just want to get music up quickly. I, the word yeah, yeah, but it's right though because the the music industry has changed. Yeah, and, and I think you can do what you want these days. Yeah, absolutely, and everything is immediate and not being funny. If you had a body of work on there, who's to say that other songs of yours could be picked by these people yeah. like, like you've just been? Picked yeah, exactly. For? The more you've got, I think, the more material and the body of work that you put out. It's oh, just I, the more I opportunities. I love a back catalogue. I love when you <clears> discover <throat> somebody new and you go back and you've got, oh, there's a live album. Oh, there's an acoustic yeah, yeah, album. Yeah. Oh, there's a remix. What's that? Someone's a remix. Um, or even on YouTube, you know, you yeah. go back and they've got like millions of videos. You're like, oh, I didn't know this <laughs> existed. This is fantastic. But the mixed is <clears throat> where I'm at now. Like, I've gone through some shh. You know, I've had, I've had a few ups and downs over the last few months and um, it's just kind of nice to just take a step back and have a bit of time to myself and put in this mixtape where I am at now. Well, you're being very creative at the moment. Yeah. As I well. mean, like, I, I mean, sat down got... last night and I was like, it was the first time I wrote something where I was like, oh my God, that is um, straight to the point. That's a fantastic feeling. I can imagine. I, I was That's just a fantastic like, feeling. it was like really like, oh, I said, oh my God, I can't put that out, can I? Yes, yes. I can. Yes, you yes, can. Yes, I can. No, no, I can. It's real and it's your truth. Yeah. That's my saying of the day. This is your truth. Yeah. Put it out. That's cool. Yeah, so how that's long the, the mixtape's going to be? What, like eight, ten tracks? What eight tracks? Eight, eight tracks. Eight. Yeah, maybe a bit less. Oh, that's fine. I just want. I, don't I think it's put... such a good idea. But I've got some good songs on there that I just don't want to wait another two years to put on a second album. Yeah. So I want to just chuck them out and see what people think. And, and this is brilliant. Are you tempted to hold any back for your second album? Yeah. Or is that something I can imagine being like, "Well, that's actually a good one. I should keep that." But the thing is, I I I, I write these songs. And I'm thinking, "Oh, I'm not going to talk about it again, surely." But then it just sort of comes to you, and um, I'm not worried that I'm not going to be able to ever no. not write a good no, song. No, you shouldn't be. And also... Well, I, I say good song. It's a good song to me. And yeah, I well, like yeah, it. you're creating it. You're allowed to be proud of it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But what I quite like is your first album is here, yeah. and then in the meantime, before the second album comes out, you've got a... A creative progression happening, yeah, yeah, and you'll yeah. have this EP, this mixtape. Maybe there'll be four mixtapes yeah, well, out before you. I don't know, do you? This is it. This is it. It's the Accelerator series, Volume One. Ah, there we go. And not being funny, who's to say that any tracks from the Accelerate series don't make it on album number two? Well, this is if it. You know? get to a point where you, maybe you did one version of it and think, actually, I could do that better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no rules. There are, no, there is no rules. I like this. <laughs> I like hearing different versions of all different songs as well. Yeah, I'll do a cheeky acoustic version because he Thanks. likes his acoustic stuff. I do like my acoustic stuff. But the Foxes song, mm. that's that that's which we haven't mentioned in this video, have we? No, I'm not sure. Probably not. Can't remember. There's a song called Foxes. Pretty much sums it up. I like it. He likes it. Um, Thirty, 30 seconds exist so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Only 30 seconds no, exists. It, it, it's not about foxes, it's about... It's an analogy. It's an analogy. It's, it's imagery, isn't it? It's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the creator that is. 
Should we end there? Yeah, you can crack on. Do you know what? Thank you very much for watching, guys. That was Brill. This has been Kyle Roberts. All his socials are below. Please, 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 please give. I just spat everywhere. I just, I just stuck the wrong. I'm so please. sorry. Please <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, and if you could go to both of our channels and subscribe, that would be good. Worth your while. You know, you look at this content you're getting. You're not gonna you. get this shit on question time here. <laughs> That's right. You want more of this. Yes. Yeah, you do. So um thank you very much for watching guys and thank you Mike for having me. Oh, what well, a treat. What well, a treat. Come. Um see you when I'll name. I'll, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll speak to you soon. I'll speak to you whenever I see you. <laughs> Bye guys. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs>